What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and welcome back to The Final Station by Do My Best Games. Now some of you guys will have seen that I looked at this when it was in Alpha about a month and a half ago and the game's finally come out. I know it's about, in theory, about a five hour long game so I figured why not dive in, have a look with a short Let's Play series. So without further ado, if you want to see anything about the settings and so on, it's all in that, we're just going to go straight in and I did load it up briefly just to check everything was going to work fine for the recording. So there is a save we need to remove but other than that... We are going to find out how this game works, what the deal is, because obviously the bit I played didn't have any story. So if you guys saw this, saw that video, you'll know what's going on a bit, but basically the premise here is, as you can see, it's got a bit of a side-scrolling action. I can look around with the mouse, I can move around with WAS and D, and that is about it. We can go up and down ladders, we can open doors, and we can reload and then shoot Z's in the head. So this is a zombie game. A zombie survival game with a slightly odd extra premise that you are trying to survive via the train system. So you are a train driver and the goal of it... Oh, zombies down ladders, the worst kind of zombie, especially if you haven't reloaded. Shit. So kind of the idea I think is we're just trying to survive using this train network, this train system. That guy's got a shotgun and I want it. But I can't get down there. I have no... what sort of dodginess is that? So a lot of dead people, and just that guy sitting there smoking a fag. All right. So yeah, I haven't seen the early bits of this game. The clearly the bit that we saw in the alpha just kind of dropped us in. What is all this? Oh sh. Okay then. That's a bit harsh. Although apparently maybe intentional. The hell, I've just. Woken back up again. It was all a dream. Yay, tropes. I, as I said, I, I don't really know what's going on at the start of this. The bit of the game that I played was kind of partway through the game, apparently, because it didn't look anything like this. And I guess that was some sort of... Yeah, some sort of dream is all I can think of, because we are now look, we now look like a different person, I think. Certainly we don't have our hats all the same clothes, and we are back in our house. All right, fine. Hopefully there's no Z's in the house. Any loots? In the fridge, perhaps? Yep, food. That does make sense. Oh, and everything's peaceful and quiet. All citizens aged 16 and over must attend the annual second visitation drill at the local response centre. Next drill is scheduled for Friday. Okay, so the first visitation, which was 106 days ago, was that like the first visitation of the Z's or what? Because everything looks pretty quiet here, and that's talking about a second visitation. And a dude. Hello. What's up? Am I? I don't know. It's weird, he seems to be replying to stuff from... that we say. Yeah, Martin is not here today, he disappeared somewhere. Are you just offering me this information, or is there, like, my dialogue is just missing? That's a bit weird. Okay, either way, apparently Martin isn't here today, so there you go. Apparently that's important. What's down here? I'm wary of anything with a ladder now. We got ganked by Z's. <laughs> Whiskey and cigarettes in the box. And a dude who is asleep. Okay. That it? We can't prod him, wake him up? No, we cannot prod him and wake him up. Screw it. Let's find out what the hell's going on in this place. To build Guardian. Okay. Engineers, mechanics, and builders are wanted. Why is that highlighted? Required experience, 10 plus years, accommodation in the lower sector of Metropole, meals, double pension are provided. Add does not apply to settlers' families. I wonder what Guardian is then. Is this something we're going to use to protect ourselves? We're clearly still on the train network because that, to me, looks like a train map, although a pretty bad one, unless you had, like, an airport at one end. Oh, another dude. Hello. What up? You got anything to say? He looks like a train driver as well, so... And everyone's smoking. That is the thing. Vacation is over? Uh, yeah, okay. Boss isn't here today. Don't need to hurry. Sure. I'm not sure what any of that means either. Toilet paper is worth two bucks. Can't take a shower. <laughs> screws, rags, screws. That sounds like crafting parts. And apparently we're getting in this locker or something. No, we're putting on our train... Okay, now I do look like I looked before. <laughs> okay, so I, I still don't quite understand what that first bit's supposed to be all about. 
maybe I'll have to redo that at some point and see what happens if you go some of the other directions. Because I went straight down there. Accidentally closed the door. You shut me out. You didn't peek. What? Weirdos. Weirdos everywhere. I'm going to read your laptop. Are you sure this is a good idea? He's not the best train operator. What if something goes wrong? Calm down, I'll keep an eye on him. James is a very important train, I know. Alright, so there's some exposition here. Some weird backstory going on that I know nothing about. Up House of Metropole to Paul Anderson, head of Burtfurt Station. Confirmation of blockers code 4547. So this is what we use to get out, basically. Each of these places we visit, you can see it's appeared down here. Each of these places we visit are a station of some sort, and the blockers code is how we get our train out of that station. What has this guy got to have to say for himself? While they were away, they installed the new blockers. Yep, this is probably telling me that I'd need to go and get that code if I hadn't got it already. Yep, enter it into the panel. Give you more details as we travel. Okay, so he's coming with me. Interesting. It's also worth noting you can't jump in this. There's no jumping abilities, and that's important because a lot of the time you'll get to the edge of the map like this, and you're like, okay, that's it. No further. Cool. Four, five, four, seven. Who would have thought I got it right? And then we get on the train, and then we go into this other weird minigame bit where we're, like, doing management aboard the train to keep the train running and keep the people aboard the train alive. At least that's that's what was in the alpha. Where, where that sort of fits in story-wise, because there was no story in the alpha at all, and supposedly a lot of this is about the fact that it's a story-driven game. The train is not in great condition. Okay. It's an experimental model. Frequent operate... That explains why... We've got to do this stuff at all. If it overheats, we won't be able to move. Makes sense. Alright, so I think the point here is at the back, we've got things like this deprecation system where we can go and pull it down and it kind of reduces the extra power we're using. Full day to get there, another day to get back, and we're taking this train to a place I missed the name of. Double overtime. Sure. Paying us lots for this, apparently. Reward 250. Okay, what, there's a reward for keeping him alive? Oh yeah, the blockers. Remember the accident at Exla 5? It was horrible. No, I don't, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Sure thing the council couldn't let this slip. What? Uh, in order to leave a station... <clears throat> yes, we do. We, we've done that. You don't need to tell us about that again. But what if the station manager is sick? Blah, blah, blah. Good questions. That, well, what, what then? You see he's got hunger as well here, so you actually need to keep them fed by going up to the front, grabbing food that we've collected during the level, and then feeding them with it. You can see his bar drops up, and eventually we'll have multiple passengers and need to be keeping an eye on that really, really closely. But for now, it seems quite calm. They're sort of almost tutorial-esque introducing us, so this system doesn't seem to be doing anything, for example. It's just this one at the back. Normally, you'd be having to manage both. Oh, and we are at our destination. Cool. Go and see what's going down here. Maybe some Z's. And we've got a little crafting sort of overview point here as well, where you can see whether this is where you can call people up for, like, quests, I think. Uh, you can create some stuff, ammo and meds, and... Whoa. And there's our map. That's pretty cool. And we are Nimlard, small provincial capital, a shopping centre for people from nearby towns. The headquarters of business agency Praxi is also located here. Shop. So our first non-tutorial station, perhaps? Something along those lines, maybe? And dude, and birds. What's up, and dude? I'm late. Screw you. Late for what? There is no express train today. Okay, we'll have to take this wreck of a train. Don't. Oh, so he's coming with me now. Why are you complaining about my train? My train's beautiful. Strange-looking person. Potentially female, we will never know. Or most definitely a dude. Gnarly. My vacation? I, I, I got eaten by zombies, as far as I can tell, and that's what happened on my vacation. Boss has the blockers code, okay. That's fine, he went to lunch. Slacker! You can wait him. Or look for him, I think I'll go and find him. I'm sure he's close by, yeah, sure. Uh, did he kindly leave stuff for me to loot up in his office? He did not. With the news blockers, there's twice as much work to do. Those idiots in the government. Oh yes, those idiots. 
shake my fist at those idiots. Ooh, go shopping. Not allowed to talk to any of these folks. Unless this guy is just... You're not too clued up on how this procedure works, I think, my friend. It needs to go in the bag on this end. But no, you shake it back and forth. I suppose that's why this lady has fallen asleep in the queue. Would make complete sense. Okay, what's all this? We got up or down? I prefer up because I can see where I'm going. Up, whereas down might contain Z's. Not now. How rude. I'm going to go through anyway. This is the boss's office, I guess. It looks like a boss's sort of office. I'm off today. The new cashier is awful. Get rid of him and find a new one. Okay. Toilet loots. Glasses are worth six bucks. Um, that seems quite cheap. As a man who wears glasses, that seems quite cheap. Just saying. TV. There are communication problems on the west coast. The areas next to the border of the first contact are unresponsive. We are waiting on the details. Border of the first contact. Okay, interesting. So, what, are the zombies, like, kind of advancing out from a point? Was that... I'm still, still not 100% sure what the days since first contact. That weird intro sequence clearly had something. Get up at 6.40, drink a quart of milk, run five miles, repeat every day. Okay. Doesn't seem to be working out for you. Hell, big building. Cool. I, I don't know even what I want. Why are you distracting me from work, sir? I, but because you were standing there and you had a highlight around you. And that, to me, is enough. It's enough reason. Can't get into any of this stuff. So, yay. More climbing. Can't like, get up there, either. What's all this rubbish? Laptop and a locked door. I couldn't find approach to Adam. He's just like his father. What do we do now? We need to find a detour. I know it's a big bulk, but if we can transfer it out of Ristol, we're set for life. Okay. Some... Shady dealings, blatantly. Is it you? You look shady. Oh, crunch. Sorry, I forgot about the train. The key is here in the suitcase. I left the code in the locker. But don't take anything beside the code. Shop? Sure, no, I definitely won't. I think I just called him a slacker. I was just like, sort your shit. Sort it out! Shady alleyway geezer. Hey, friend. Yeah, shady alleyway geezer indeed. What's up? Help me need a couple more coins for the beer. Be careful at night. Sometimes boxes accidentally fall on people's heads. Are you threatening me? I'll throw this cat at you. Except I can't. Oh. Alright. I'm going to have to go down. Deadly, deadly down. What's going on down here? Oh, not a huge amount. Oh, a dude trying to find his car. What the hell? Uh, I, I don't know. You're bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> Is this your car? Wires and whiskey under the bonnet. Nice. That's where I keep my whiskey, too. It's the best place. Engine warm. Mm -mm. Travelled here from the Morganstone. Don't know what the Morganstone is. To find out two screws were unscrewed. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay. You do your world building thing. I don't know. So that was purely so we could grab whiskey and stuff from downstairs. That seems a bit unnecessary. The locker was... The locker wasn't up there, was it? It was the next building along, I think? This is where it wasn't the next... No, it is. It's the next building along. It's this one. Okay. Three, seven, four, eight. I guess that's it for this little place. All been very peaceful and quiet so far. One would imagine there isn't even a zombie invasion going on. Or apocalypse or whatever one it is. Sounds more invasion-like, where they're talking about first contact and so on. And then this super duper peaceful music. I mentioned it in my previous video, but I do quite like the both the visual aesthetic of this, but also some of the audio aesthetic. Some of the music's great. Okay, so this one's now doing things. So you basically with this one you need to watch out and reduce the gases in one of them at a time. Problem? Yes, right. Yes, I have a problem. And you're adding more problems. Am I? I'm afraid I don't understand. Damn scheduled train, where is it? I don't know. Where is it? You tell me. Scheduled train time hasn't changed in 20 years. 
I have to actually click this multiple times, apparently. Can't, you don't just leave it. Can't reach the train driver. What's going on with them? How could that happen? Z's! It was the zombies. Oh, God, I'm screwing it up. Going too high on other ones. This is kind of annoying, having to do this at the same time as that. Like, how do I pay attention to the story if I'm busy messing in this UI? Trevor is gone. I assume that's one of the, the train drivers. People often disappear in the west. There is a borderline. There we go. More, more zombie speak. What's going on with disease? The trains... Now the scheduled train is... Oh. I've actually taken some Z's? Taken, like, the Z's have taken the, the whole train somehow? I doubt it. More likely the driver. Uh, this thing here, by the way, means that there's someone we can contact. So, Peter Wright. Hi, welcome back. Um, thank you. No planned route changes. However, there are communication problems in the south. Hope the team can fix this. Me too. Peter is offline. That doesn't told me very much. I have arrived. I should probably go and give this fella some food. Yeah, they're all looking alright. And then let's get out of here. Whoops. <clears throat> Rain and more trains this time. My other ones in the background. There's this further storytelling about where the hell the, the train driver has gone, maybe? Don't know. Rags. Worth noting here, I still don't... I can't fire. I don't have a crosshair to, to look around shooting-wise. Train driver's uniform and cigarettes. Yo, dude, what's up? Like your hat. Looking good there. The code. Oh, yeah, the code. There was a manual somewhere here. How to print it out. I, I, why do you need to do that? Give you a couple of minutes. Take a walk around the town. Okay, well, this explains why I can't do anything weaponry-wise. It's because this is a town. Look at these dudes. Looking hard. Walk through the scanner. I ain't no Z, don't worry. Nice. Proper train station. Old clocks. So, I like it. I like it. Cancel all the tickets to the south, but I need to go back home. It's important. Pay? I have money? Thank you. Okay, that's another person aboard the train, then. Gaggle of people. Still no details. Any word from the council? I think they already evacuated. Nonsense. S hmm. Don't know who the council are, either. I assume this stuff's all going to be made more clear as we go through, but... Moment. Not much making sense. How are we going to get there? What? To Canada? Indeed. Do you need to go north? <laughs> oh, interesting. So I can actually buy some stuff. We've got... This is a bar, and I think this is food? They've got two. I've got 73 cash. I feel like I should probably buy some. Keep the guys on the train alive. Because that, that has been a problem even when I was playing Alpha, is losing those dudes seems to be really easy. Like, really easy. Especially once you get a few of them. You've got to be really scavenging heavily to keep them alive. Ticket office is closed. Yes, to all destinations. I didn't actually want a ticket. You should probably recognise the uniform. I are train driver. Oh, yes. And this is... Good afternoon. Are you ready to order? No, we don't have... What did I ask for? <laughs> and chef. The damn triple cooked meat. I've been cooking it for an hour. Yeah, you know, you've got a while left to go then if you're triple cooking it, my friend. Yay, toilet loot. Everyone loves some toilet loot. I've got my cursor back now. You ask the kitchen, where is my meat? It's him. Triple meat man. Okay, so I'm not going down there yet. Crazy man covered in birds. We have the Guardian. Who is going to save us in case of second visitation? Then why does the council build these underground shelters? I, I, I have no idea. 
You have as good an idea as I do. Is that, is that enemy rat? No, because I can't... I've got nothing to attack with still. They're taking all my weapons off me, so... Not enemy rat. Well, this is interesting. It's like... A whole little area just under the floor. With a dude! Alright, dude. Hush. What are, you, what are you spying on? Don't tell them about me. Something's happening here. Don't believe the military. Sure. I'm, I'll, I'll buy that. They're always up to something, right? Oh, God. I see. I see. Come in faster. Okay. This is all looking pretty ropey. Don't move. I'm... Okay. I was just walking. No, I'm, I was just walking. If I see you here again. You'll be a dead meat. Just one. All right. Bye. Well, that's some ropey, ropey, ropey behaviour going on there. So I guess this is enough wandering around now that I can go back and grab that key, perhaps. Yeah, there it is. Sweet. Yeah, we read that one. Two nine seven seven. Printed out the code. Hope it's right. Where is Amanda? I don't know. She should be sitting here. She's gone. There was a note on her desk. It's slow starting, this. Lots of story. Not much in the way of zombie shooting. Still wonder if that's because I did something at the start that affects how the story works. Don't really know. So you see, I now got three of them, and therefore they're going to be increasingly more difficult to manage. So they're talking about cancelling routes to all destinations at the moment. I'm going to go and take some food to this end guy. Everyone else is fine. So the central station in Metropole was shut, and even this guy doesn't know anything about it. Who was from the train? Like, he seems to be one of us. Bullshit. So they're basically arguing over what, what this conspiracy is all about, while I slowly forget what I need to do in here. I have to say, so I've got a slight bit of difficulty because these bars are red as well. For me, that doesn't help. And it's getting dark. At least, the, you know, there's a little bit of variety in the background changes. And again, I mean, the aesthetic's great. It's the, looks really neat. What's happening? Holy sh... That's a good point. What is happening? There's like a war has just kicked off. Is it the second visitation? This train has an emergency message system, which is noticing. Are you in the north? I don't know. We've had calmer days. They report some shooting. Any word from the council? Oh dear. Things have not gone well for James, I suspect. So everything's just hit the fan, basically, I think. And of course it's night time when we arrive for shit hitting the fan time. Emergency station, act complete. Oh, and I brought all of them profit 530. Okay, I was not expecting this. I thought they were just going to be with us for the whole ride, but no, apparently they're like actual passengers that we bring for bits of the journey. I know, what do you know? Yes, but I don't have the authority anymore. The military has power now and their general is waiting for you. The general is waiting for me in particular. This is not going to end well. Better to hurry up. Okay, uh, let's talk to these folks, see if there's anything. Can, why did they stop us here? Can you find out what is happening? Okay. It won't let us further. Okay, so they were trying to come further with me, and we've just been blocked here. Fantastic, now I'm late for sure. You are, you complain far too much. Just saying. Uh, what about you? No, I don't know what's happening in Redmond. 
Okay, so Redmond's must be where the fighting is. Jennifer had a seizure. She was taken to the infirmary. Weird extra information. This. Marcus is an order from the authorities. You cannot argue. His new access levels. B, the ability to make independent, inconsistent with the operator solutions in emergency situations. A, carry and, can carry and use firearms. Who is his? Me? I'm running fever. This is why I'm not to approach these things. Okay. I think that might be me, but why? Oh, shit. Chill, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Nothing, nothing happening here. You don't have access to the infirmary. Dot, dot. Access code. Okay, you may enter. Apparently, I do have access to the infirmary. Oh. I thought he was coming for me there. All right, let's talk to this fella first. It's not blood. I don't know what it is. Weird. As the doctors fled the city, we are the only ones who stayed. Worst part is, we can't help them. That's pretty grim as well, if you kind of infer some detail from what's going on in the background. <laughs> Friend, give me some water. I, I don't have any. I'm sorry, dude. Can't go into any of these. These rooms like, makes me want to try and press up on. Like, I don't know, Mario style or something. <laughs> Toilet loot. Pills times four. And some dodgy scientists. Just let me take him. Don't explain anything to the military. Okay, so, so yeah, something dodgy is going on here. There is what appears to be black goo coming out of that air vent. That's really not very nice. Ugh. Cough. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Another one of these dudes with the shotties. And then weird house. Like, oh, I see. They're, they're technically tense, I think. <laughs> or, or quick put up army barracks. As much as you do? Yeah, okay. We're about to find out what's going down. I've heard they're back, but the government is silent. They're back, the seas. Gunpowder, sure. This is secret information. I got nothing. Holy Christ. Well, they're certainly happy to guard this place. Come in. They are waiting for you. Why me? Oop. He is here. Yeah, they're, they're specifically me. Okay. Get to it. They will be here in 20 minutes, sir. Listen to me now. Where were you heading to? I was just going along the railway. Like, this is the thing with railways, you can know where I'm going because that's where the tracks go. <laughs> Willstream. I don't know where that is, but yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Willstream is no more, son. Just like the other mountain tons. We need your train to deliver an important cargo. It's being connected to the train now, so I have another container, perhaps. Deliver it to the new cost field. Wait for further. Wait for the further instructions. <laughs> all of us do, but orders are orders. I guess I'm asking what the hell's going on. Ten minutes. Damn! Hurry up. That that was a very quick ten minutes. Rescue the survivors. It's your secondary mission. Go. Good luck, son. I, the fact that some people just say dot 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 and you don't know what it is they've said, that's got to be an intentional decision. It happens too often. Can I not take the shotty? Oh, come on. It's just there. It happens too often. I just wonder why. Why is, why is some of little bits of the story being obfuscated like that? Like kind of leave, leaving you to figure out what you think's in those gaps. Slightly odd. And then there's the also the slightly odd decision to to have this sort of approach where you've got to run the entire way back down to the start, having been the whole way along the map. I guess that's necessary. Our order is to escort the cargo. Okay. Sorry, I can't do anything about it. You're going to come with me? No. Get on the train. Six, two, eight, eight. Sure. But not only that, with the developments, I think this might be a perfect place to uh, perhaps... No, let's not. Let's not. Let's go and see if we can shoot some Zs before we finish up. There's been not enough combat in this. 
I'm slightly surprised by the fact that there's been not very much combat. Okay, so I've just got these two with me now. Can't say anything. And this cargo in the middle, which is fine. Oh, wow, what on earth is this all about? So do I have to, like, counterbalance it somehow? I, I, I'm so confused. What is it doing? One, naught. Okay. Oh, I need to be s the same sort of position. I, I get you. Um. Um. What happened to the two guards? I had two guards on the back there, and they're just gone in a pool of blood. That doesn't seem great. I feel like I may have screwed something up there, but we'll see. Okay, we've got a radio call. Let's go and do that quickly. What's up, Nicholas Wilson? You going to Redmond? Nope. Everything all right? I guess probably not. I don't remember them building the tunnel here. Sorry, the connection is disappearing. Okay, more weirdness. Uh, this is way off. Do, 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 do. That's pretty concerning. <laughs> you guys will have the luxury of seeing that as well. I was busy looking at the dials trying to line them up and something happened to the guys at the back. And they knew that when they made this game plainly. They're like, quick, we can distract him with this new thing that he doesn't know how to use while something happens at the back. And you've got to go and wonder what the hell was going on. Okay, well, I think it's important to note at this point that I have no ammunition, but this bar has appeared at the bottom. So, yeah. Okay, I've got a pistol. Summon me to the headquarters, something urgent. If the train arrives, I have the code. Well, that's not helpful. I need it. Money, train driver's uniform. Okay, this this starting to look a little bit similar to the first level of the Alpha. Yeah, I think this is where the Alpha was set. To build Guardians, engineer... Yes, yeah, the same message as earlier. Whatever this Guardian is, something that's supposed to be helping us survive the apocalypse, I imagine. But... Instance, list of current routes. I'm going to... Edward Jones, it's us. On the Beluso 7, we assume. I'm going to screenshot that just in case it comes in handy later. Never know. Got pistol ammo. Nice. Reload this puppy. Good lord. Are you a rescuer? Uh, yes. Sure, lady. Yep, that's me. I, un I understood. That's not English, but sure. When it, In the end, this is coming from, I believe, some Russian developers. It's only a couple of guys, so can't complain too much where some of the translation may not be perfect, I don't think. You get the idea. It's not that bad. Hello, friend. To the face. So conservation of ammo is an important thing in this. We learnt that in the alpha, and this is obviously that alpha level again. Oh, hello. It's been long enough that I can't quite remember what happened in it. So uh, here's our train code, 9423. An unfortunate fella. Had a pencil on him. Worth a buck. We assume... All right, we can pick up boxes and, like, throw them at things. Now, I've kind of screwed up because once you picked it up, you can't put it back down again. You have to, like... This is saves a lot of the ammunition in the end. Right. That, oh! <laughs> you can, of course, just punch them to death. I should have really been saving our ammunition and punching them, I think. Use the ammunition on whatever the little squid-like ones are. The fast ones. No loot from, from the body there? Oh, what's this rubbish? And there's a doorway up there too. That's got one of those squid things in it. I'm not sure I want to try and punch one of those to death. Oh, there's a box I could kill it with there. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, it's got gunpowder and pistol ammo. Even better. I will come back to that. I just want to see if there's... Somewhere, some way I can get at it that perhaps... Hmm. Hmm. Is there even any point to that little passageway? Right, there we go. 
to deal with him. Oh, got hit. No! Uh, one thing they have changed a bit since the alpha then is it's a bit easier to get hit when meleeing them. Because it was a little bit too powerful in the alpha, I have to say. You could just kind of keep swinging your arm at them and... Yeah, I got one too. This guy doesn't shoot us though. Freeze! You got a gun. First, tell me who are you? I'm a train driver, bro. Edward Jones. From the train, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, waiting for you there. Nice. Okay, so that's this little level done. And not only that, but now we've done a bit of zombie shooting before we continue the story any further. I think, do we just exit from here, I wonder? My simple controls. However, I'm wondering, main menu, straight to, yep. That'll be saved for us. We can come straight back in there for the next one. Cheers a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, of course, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Really helps me in the channel out, helps get that video out there. If you're interested in this so far, then don't forget to check back for more. I'm going to be doing quite a few of these, get them, get through it quite quickly, because why not? Seems an intriguing little game. I want to find out what's going on with the story a bit now as well. And of course, if you didn't like it, you know where that dislike button is. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank <laughs> you.